Hey, it's Cliff, and that last video that I did got a little bit spicy, so I just want to clarify that it's never my intention to stir up drama in the community, but when there's questions that are being asked, I have to bring those up, right? So if I had to be labeled as the bad guy, then just say hello to the bad guy, right? So had a lot of good comments on that video. There were some negative on the video, so I just want to kind of clarify my points of that video just in case there were some people who didn't understand right so when it comes to those sologenic nfts right i never asked for one i never claimed that i deserve one i don't really even buy nfts to be honest so let me just get that out of the way right sologenic owns these nfts they are their nfts they reserve the right to give those NFTs to anybody that they want, right? So there were plenty of people on my videos saying that, hey Cliff, you have been making sologenic videos for over a year now, why do you not have a sologenic OG NFT? And the last one, which is what I was commenting on that video was from Blockchain Monkeys. And I'm just making the case that, you know, they're not going to give a sologenic OG NFT to someone who is not overly hyping solo. I'm like I said, I'm always going to keep my integrity. If there's something going on that maybe, you know, isn't right. I'm going to point that out. I'm not trying to do that to bring negativity to them. I'm just a realist. I'm going to say what is on everyone's mind. And these things that I brought up in the videos were, things that were being commented everywhere. Everybody was thinking it. It just happened to be that I was the person to ask the question. Now, again, as someone who does not invest in NFTs, this is something that I needed to look into because I report news on Sologenic and I needed to know what was actually going on in the space. As I looked into these Sologenic OG NFTs, I noticed that they were giving these to people who were known scammers or people who didn't even own one solo token. And that was a little concerning for me. So of course, I'm gonna bring that up to the community. Again, if that makes me the bad guy, I'll be the bad guy, right? Somebody has to say that. Now to me, an OG is someone who's an original, right? They're, that's someone who's been here from the beginning, you know, they've been around, they kinda, you know, they're, they're the old head of the community. When you're giving these OG, NFTs to people who are known scammers or people who don't even own solo, of course that's going to confuse people and they're going to ask questions, right? That's not me being a hater or spreading FUD. That's just realistic, right? Hopefully everybody is on the same page with that. Okay. Now I understand Sologenic is a business and they're going to want to give some of these OG NFTs to people who are with high views, high subscribers, things like that, so they can retweet this stuff out or make videos right so they can spread the name of sologenic but when you're calling it a sologenic og nft you can't be mad at me or call me a hater or i'm spreading fud when i'm confused that you're giving them to scammers or people that don't have any solo at all right that's not a sologenic og nft that is a sologenic clout chaser nft and so as a community-driven project, it's very important for our voices to be heard. That's why I made the video on this, because this wasn't only me concerned with what was going on with these OG NFTs. And the hill that I absolutely will die on is that BitBoy is not an OG of the Sologenic community. And I couldn't find anybody that actually accepted him into the Solo Nation. And it was embarrassing for all of us when they were trying to get clout from BitBoy, who is a scammer, like I said, and he didn't even retweet any of this. He didn't mention Solo. It was just like a, a embarrassing attempt, to be honest. So the hill I am going to die on is this dude is not Solo Nation, right? That's just not, he's not part of the community. And I just want to bring this up to further clarify my point of what I was making in my last video. And there's an article here. It says, BitBoy versus a Tozy YouTuber sues YouTuber for defamation, emotional distress, and a bunch of other bullshit that he's claiming, right? So basically what happened is this YouTuber, a Tozy, came out and was trying to warn people of 
how he was pumping and dumping on his audience. And now he's turning around and he's trying to sue a Tozy for warning the community. So allegedly, what is happening here? He he's taking money that he ripped off from his audience, turning around and suing smaller YouTubers to silence them. Allegedly, of course, right? Don't we don't want to offend anybody, allegedly. And that that's just not it for me. That's not the community I'm a part of, right? And in spreading this you know, in my video as a community driven project, I thought maybe the Sologenic community didn't know about this. Maybe the team didn't know about this because, you know, I, I believe they're good people. I think they just, they didn't know. So we need to be very vocal that BitBoy is not an OG. He's not a part of this community. We do not accept him. I couldn't find a single person in this community that was saying that BitBoy is a part of our community. No, he's a scammer. He's suing people and trying to silence them and that's that's not it that is not hashtag solo nation sorry guys now again i gotta emphasize that sologenic is a community driven project that means we're not always going to agree with each other that's the whole point of having a community is so we can all bring our ideas together we hash them out and then we try to you know make the project the best that it can be one thing i will say about that is if somebody is trying to silence you on any questions that you have, whether, whether it's like uh, tokenizing stocks or any of these exchanges, I just want you to know your questions are valid. And if someone is trying to actively remove your questions or tell you because you didn't agree with this one thing that Solo did that you should just sell all your Solo, they are actively trying to make this project more centralized and they're probably doing it because they stand to benefit from it being centralized. What we've learned this year in crypto is that if somebody is just trying to dismiss your claims by saying, oh, you're a hater or you're spreading FUD, is that they probably don't have a good reason to back up your claims, right? We've seen this with Celsius Network, we've seen it with Three Arrows Capital and all of this Luna stuff that's going on. That's exactly what they did. They dismissed all your valid claims saying this is FUD. And for people to just say that we're FUD or we're haters, people who are actively in this community asking questions, that makes us look like Safe Moon. And that's just something that I would suggest that the community not do. Now, with that said, in a completely unrelated topic, I did see this tweet from Zo Killer, and I, you guys gotta let me know down in the comments like this came out right after i did this video and it says keep hating solo nation knows what we got and i i don't know if it was my ego talking to me but i'm like is he talking about my video like, is he is he claiming that i'm the hater i don't i don't know maybe not i'm sure like with the thing that went on with the announcement and these exchanges, maybe he was just getting a lot of hate, right? So maybe it's maybe I should just, you know, calm my ego down. It's probably other people. But I don't know. Let me let me know in the comments. Is he talking about me? Like, I don't am I a hater? Again, if I gotta be the bad guy, you know, say hello to the bad guy. I'm right here. I'm gonna bring up valid questions. So moving on from there, like I said, this channel, Cliff Invest, I bring you the good and the bad, right? So I wanna move on to some more good news. So as we all obviously know with this drama going on, Solo was listed on Bybit. And like I said in my last video, I know maybe it was hyped up that this was going to be some information about tokenizing stocks or some other information that you guys were looking forward to. But I just want to put out to the community, this is still good news. Like, yeah, it sucks that it wasn't what you wanted, but it's not bad. And where this gets even better, they tweeted below here, it says more than 520k solo will be airdropped to those who voted on the exchange. So they literally, I, this is how I'm reading between the lines, they, they took note of the community not being necessarily being hyped up or maybe that they hyped up things that, you know, we, we thought we were going to see something different. And they said, okay, well, maybe this announcement isn't good enough. So now we're going to double down and we're going to make this announcement actually better. So airdropping these solo tokens to people who were actively supporting the community and voting to get this on the exchange was a great move, right? That that means they are listening to the community, even if, you know, this, I'm still like being called a hater, you know, it means they're listening to us. And that's positive. That, that to me is bullish, right? So yeah, 
again, I'm not trying to bring drama to the community, but again, you know, have to have to report on the news, right? So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, I made my point very clear this time. And as always, thank you for watching. So say good night to the bad guy. Go on. The last time you're gonna see a bad guy like this again, let me tell you. Go on. Big way for the bad guy. There's a bad guy coming through. But I got